Hello viewers, my name is Prashant Deoda and my name is Digvijay Ramteke. Today we are going to perform VB confessionometer test. Concrete should have a satisfactory property both in hardened state and in fresh state. Uh, durability and strength are the most important property of concrete in hardened state. While workability is the desirable property of fresh concrete. Workability can be defined as the ease with which the concrete can be placed and compacted without segregation and grading. According to IS1199, there are total four methods of me to measure the workability. First one is the slump cone test, second one compactive factor test, third VB consistometer, and fourth flow test. This test is more appropriate for stiff concrete mixes having low and very low workability. Therefore, this test is more advantageous as compared to slump and compacting factor test. As the treatment given to this test is very much similar to the treatment provided in the field. This is the schematic diagram of VP consistometer. The main components are vibrating table, then cylindrical metal pot, slump cone, and standard tamping rod. Now, all the detailed technical specifications are mentioned in the IS10510. Uh, according to this IS code, the maximum size of aggregate that we can use is only 40 mm. Then uh, it defines all the dimensions, like uh, this vibrating table. Its dimension is 380 mm into 260 mm. Then cylindrical metal pots. It, uh, its diameter is 240 mm plus minus 5 mm and its height is 200 mm. Then slump. Slump cone. The bottom diameter is 200 plus minus 2 mm. The top diameter is, is uh, 100 plus minus 2 mm. And its height is 300 plus minus 2 mm. Then uh, for this experiment, we'll use a standard tamping rod. Then uh, this size code also defines the material that is used for the construction of each and every component. Uh, for example, for the construction of mold, that is the for, uh, serial number 1, we have to use the mild steel as a construction material. It should be galvanized and IS226 should be incorporated. Then, uh, similarly, the construction material for all the other components is mentioned in this IS code. Uh, similarly, the detailed specification of all the components are mentioned. Uh, like for vibrating cable, it should have a frequency of 300 vibration per minute and its amplitude should be 0.5 mm. Also, the stopwatch, it should have a uh, accuracy of 0.1 seconds. This is UV consistometer apparatus. Now, uh, IS1199 gives the detailed procedure that we need to adopt to carry out this experiment. Uh, this is vibrating cable. Its height should be 305 mm from the floor. Uh, this is the mold. We will fix this mold on this vibrating cable with the help of these two screws. Then uh, place this slump cone inside this uh, mold. Then uh, this is the swivel arm. On this we have one funnel and this is the last one. We will use this funnel to put concrete inside this slump and we will use this glass plate to measure the slump and to check the flatness of the vibrated concrete. Now we will start the vibrations. One, two, three, start. the vibrations now we will check the flatness for that take this glass plate over this uh, mold then lower it all the concrete mix should touch the area of this glass plate this is little stick I don't know if you can see here but all the surface concrete mix is touching the glass plate area mm -hmm. Time for this flatness is 5.9 seconds. That is our VB degrees 5.9. IS119 defines the relation between VB degree and required slump. VB degree of R concrete mix is 5.9. For that, required slump is almost 1.5 cm and R slump obtained is 5 cm. So it's okay. Also, this IS code defines characteristics of concrete as per the obtained VB degree. This test is not appropriate for highly workable concrete mixes having slump greater than 75 m or so. Because of such mix, the remolding is so quick that the time cannot be measured. This test is useful for pre-cast, pre-stress and road work. Thank you.